interesting that he went across there. And also it shows there was a lot of uh, <coughs> closeness between the two when people. When he went to the exile in Scotland, a cousin of his, Fergus, was king That's of right. Scotia Minor. Yes. And the Hebrides and all around there. Yes. And one of the first things Colum Kill did, he went to Fergus. interview the yeah. king of yeah. the Picts. Yeah. And the king of the Picts gave him permission to go over all his territory. Yeah. And we were talking about York and how important that was. The big monastery of Lindisfarne is right Farne. there. Just halfway down between that and York. Right. Yeah. Who, who founded it? Colum Kill. The Irish. Sure. Colum Kill from Iona. Yeah. Fergus gave him an island, and it's three miles long and one mile wide. Mm. And it's the island of Iona mm. to this day. And pilgrims go there, and it's mm -hmm. well worth because in the in the grounds, in the churchyard around, it's in good shape now, but in the hands of the Scots church, you know. But it's very, very interesting now. They recognised me, although I was going around more or less like this, they recognised me as a priest. Hmm. And one of the officers there at the church said, you're a father. I said, I am. And of course, I had my group, a little group with me. Hmm. And he said, Would you like to say Mass here? Hmm. Well, I had already said Mass, so I thanked him and all that. But he's very, he's very good, and they're all very kind there. Hmm. And they have lived their lives on that little island, and there's just one street from hmm. the monastery uh, down along towards the mainland. Hmm. And uh, that was three miles by one mile, and that's where Colum went into exile, hmm. and the king of that area was Fergus. Mm. who was a cousin of Colin Gill. Mm. And uh, then from there he went, as you were saying, mm. all over Scotland and down into as far as Lindisfarne mm -hmm. in England. Mm. And he spread the faith even there. Mm -hmm. So they must have been on pretty good terms. Yeah. yeah. Well, that gives you a clue uh, uh, that there was something going on over a long period yeah. and they were interrelated and they knew it very well. They understood that very well. So that when he went to the King of Argyll, um, they knew exactly who Colum Kill was. Colum Kill, of course, means the dove of the church. What was his real name? Do we know what his real name was? I Colum did, but it's, uh, I can't remember. But I knew. Yeah. I, I don't know that I ever did know what his real name yeah. was. But I know he was an O'Neill. Um, <clears throat> but Colum Kill was not his, it was, that was his nickname. What, what does Colum Kill mean? It means the dove of the church. He, he, Colum is a dove and Kill, as you know, is a church. So are in the Catholic uh, listing of saints, is Columba, Colum Kill, and Colum Banus the same saint? No. Not Colum Banus. Colum Banus is Benus different. Columba Colum and Colum Kill, right? Columba and Colum Kill are the Colum same. Are the Colum Banus okay. is late. He came later. Yeah, he he followed Colum Kill. When I was in school in England, there was a priest, an old Silesian priest, and he was attached there. All he did was say Mass and hear confessions. But I became his personal assistant, as it were, you know? You, his Monsignor. No, I was. I know, but that's what a personal yeah. assistant to the Pope is. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you, isn't that correct? Five I'm popes. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Five Popes. <laughs> no, 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 no. But the months, the word, in, it's the equivalent in Italian as Gila, you know. Yeah, Monsignor. Yeah. But it's Monsignor means my Lord. It does. But and it all. It, it, the it ones all, are Roman bishops, are, they are appointed to a Pope. Okay. Well, I'm appointed to Pope uh, Paul VI. What? Pope Paul the Sixth. I was a monsignor of Pope Paul the Sixth. Oh, VI. that's right. You were, yeah. Yeah, and then. But they pointed you Pope there the, and missed the it. The next one that came. Once the Pope dies, so do I. And that, well, you your monsignor does. Yeah. Your monsignor does. That's yeah. That's right. But the next Pope that came after him. Yeah. Reappointed all, uh, all the Pope, all the monsignors before that his ancestor, predecessor, what do you call him? Yeah. And the next, when he died, the next Pope did the same thing. So I was a monsignor to five popes. Five popes. <laughs> and we didn't let him forget that a, a couple of years ago. We insisted on calling Father for a week or two because he wasn't a monsignor until the new pope came in and reappointed him a monsignor. Isn't that correct, monsignor? That's right. Yeah. That's so right. we were drinking with a, with a, a father for a while, Harry, weren't we? Yeah. And we, we didn't let him forget it either.
But I was I was started to tell that's a digression. I'm sorry. That among the Salesians in the college where I went, you know, the student, in England. In England. this old father Goy was his name. Goy, yeah. Goy yeah. from Northern Italy. Oh. And he was interested. Oh, he would have been sitting in the middle of this group. Of, he was interested in the Irish a lot because he claimed that there was an Irish or a Celtic settlement there oh, yeah. in Normandy. Yeah. And you were talking about King Nile being struck, uh, yes. that he was struck crossing the Alps to that yeah. place because yeah. he was going among the, all the Celts. Yes. You see? Oh, I see. And yeah. Father Goy knew some Irish. He knew that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, G-O-Y. <laughs> in Northern Italy, believe that. Yeah. Well, there you are. It's time to somebody else to laugh at it. No, no, that's, I, that's... I want you to remember that where O'Neill said, that is the head of the table. I love that. <laughs> we'll have to, oh, we'll remember that one from now on. <laughs> where O'Neill said, it is the head of the table. <laughs> and he was blind, blind harper. Uh, <laughs> they were held in great esteem, the, the wandering minstrel harper. Yeah. What period of time was he in? What period of time? Harper, what years? Oh, yeah. oh gosh, That's, you got me there, I forget. But he, they claim he was one of the, oh, the Northern the Irish. I don't know, oh, there would be a lot Brown. of them, you know, it's, it, I'm not sure. What would have been the, the, the name Art would have been recurring generation. Yeah, he wasn't the son of Nico, was he? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, much he later. years uh, after that. Oh. Yeah, much oh, later. Yes. Yeah. But they, they kept their, what they're now called nicknames, they weren't nicknames at all. They were the yeah. names of their forefathers. Yeah. That's right. So you'll be in the, uh, the annals of the four masters we can find. Yeah. Art. Will we? I don't know. Can we? Um, that usually didn't, well, not usually referred to pipers. They referred to kings and bishops. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, I don't know that there's any interest about pipers. They Art. come down to a different. They were just huh? pipers and uh, I mean a harper. Harpers maybe. and the writers, yeah, and storytellers, Shanachies. Well, they had nothing but the little candle or the little oil lamp and the turf fire. Yeah, and they had no, by the way, no radio, no television, so they took care of themselves. Yep, and they were very welcome wherever they went. All these, especially the itinerant harbor, and, he, and, the, and blind too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you were a kid and. Your mother, you would be pouring the tea, and they were all gathered into the farm, yeah. and so on. What what kind of stories were they telling? <laughs> you 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 the bad you so well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, you know. No, if, it's, if the children were there, I'm a bad streak in me. I don't know. <laughs> if the children were there, the stories were always, of course, very clean. <laughs> they, would have, they would sing. And the children would be asked to sing and join and all that. Mm -hmm. I remember some of But he has a story about this, I wanted to. In those days, yeah. yeah. But, but, but I want you to tell about, about uh, Bar ba Barney. Barney Moore? Yes. When your mother. Oh, yeah. God, you remember uh, you remember all the important things, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> My uncle I have a bad streak in me. <laughs> yeah. My uncle Barney, he was Barney Moore on my mother's side. He was the great old man. And uh, the family, you know, and all his folks to this day are called Moore and they don't mention O'Neill at all. Barney Moore, Charlie Moore, all that. Yeah. Well, Barney was in the house this evening and they were telling stories. And there was a... a I'm a guy there, a visitor, and actually he didn't know much about the Irish or that, but he was listening to Barney, and of course he could tell right away that Barney wasn't speaking a word of truth. <laughs> Not one word of truth. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. got impatient and he, shut, he said, Barney, for God's sake, shut up. Sure, everybody knows you're telling lies. I said, Barney indignantly, well, isn't it lies we're telling? <laughs> 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 I have that story because it's so typical of her. That's what the evening is all about. It's lies we're telling. <laughs> and I, well, I often say that so many laughs, you know, when, when I, if he doesn't believe me and he starts saying, well, you know, but sure isn't it lies we're telling? <clears throat> so that's a good quote for you right there on your, on your video, isn't it lies we're telling? <laughs> <laughs> you see, the Irish enjoyed a good story. I don't want to be spoiling it by saying, sure, that's not true at all. 
What does it matter? Don't ruin my story with facts. Huh? Absolutely. Taking a spoiling a good story with asking it to be true. <laughs> Isn't it lies we're telling? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I don't know where that leaves us with, with O'Neill, or with Neil. Um, but, you know, one of the reasons we're on this Neil and O'Neill kick, if you'll call it that, is um, the... Uh, the seventh one? Yeah. Of... Is it the 24th of September, 2007 is the 400th anniversary of the flight of the earls this coming up and of course the earls that that flew if you like <coughs> the english made them earls try 